Today we are over here at the Saltwater Pier. It's been a minute since we fished here. It's been like pretty warm out recently, which means some things, man. The water's heating up and that means the fish might be heating up. All right, we got our rods, we got the bag, we got a bucket full of bait. Let's get out there. It has been too long, man. I am excited to do some pier fishing. Oh, spring is springing today, man. It is 73 degrees, got a nice breeze. It is spring break for some people, so it'll be interesting to see how packed this is. Hi, right, how's it going? Hi. Yeah. Do you guys have like gotcha plugs here? Oh, the gotcha ones we ran out yesterday. Ah, uh, it's all good. I was around you for your time. Oh, really? You got to the gotcha plug? No. It's Spanish. I advise you might want to get your gotcha plug or a spoon. Hey, nice to meet you, man. That guy convinced me to go in. What's up, man? Hey, how's it going? Kevin, nice to meet you. Mike, nice to meet you. Watch all your videos. Woo! It is a freaking gorgeous day. All right, so apparently the word is out. There are Spanish mackerel and blues. Once the weather heats up a little bit, the fish start to heat up a little bit, and it seems like hopefully we are here at the right time. Oh, there's some dolphins out there, there's some surfers. This is a freaking gorgeous day today. How's it going? Oh, dude, there's birds over here. Look at this, look at this. I don't know if y'all can see that. All those seagulls, that's how you know where the fish are, especially with these blues and Spanish, because they tear up these bait fish and the seagulls dive on them. This is interesting. Real quick before we get out here, man. Oh, just look at this. This is gorgeous, but I just gotta thank each and every one of you guys for like all the support and so cool meeting y'all. Like I literally just got out here and somebody y'all say what's up. It's freaking, it's crazy. I was going to do something, but I might do something else. It's been a while since we've been out here. We are just going to walk and observe. All right. Did you catch anything? The little ones, that's it. I saw a bluefish and I saw a little perch somebody caught. Oh my gosh, dolphins were right there. We basically walked all the way out to the end of the pier and I just can't overstate how nice it is to be able to walk. Last couple times, I mean, oh, last year we were out here, I really could not walk. I was in the freaking boot. That was a long, long couple months. Let's see what's going on out here. This is like the only kind of metal they had at the tackle shop right here. I don't know, I, I forgot to buy when I was at the tackle shop that I just went to. Some stuff for blues or Spanish, but so we got, it was like 10 bucks. They are for sure upcharging these things, but they can do that. They said yesterday they sold out of all their gotcha plugs, all their spoons, all that. All right, so there's a couple ways to fish a spoon off a pier. It's not really my forte, but basically the goal here is to flash it around. These fish love shiny, flashy lures. There's a fish. There's something. What we got here? Oh, my bad. I didn't know your line was over there. Where are we at here? My bad. I didn't know your line was over here. A little one. All right. There we go, y'all. First one of the day. They're biting this, man. These Spanish might be too. If you guys are not familiar, this is a bluefish. You really have to be careful of their mouths. They freaking can chomp fingers. All right, there we go. Boom. I don't know if y'all saw that. I uh, got kind of tangled up in that guy's line for a second. It's just the thing about fishing out on the pier. Like, you got to work with everybody. And some people got their lines, like, all over the place. Yeah, like, I didn't even know. <laughs> There's dolphins and turtles out here. There's big old manatees. And their little babies. Their little babies are cute. They're like this big. <laughs> Throw it out as far as you can. Blue and, and Spanish will hit that. You said let it go to bottom? Yeah, and then retrieve it slow. Alright.
hold it. What is that? As you guys know, a fish is a fish. I'm down to catch whatever. These bluefish can be pretty fun. But there were people around me catching Spanish mackerel left and right. They were mixed in with the bluefish. And with this spoon, I'm not sure if it was the size or the presentation, but the blues were just smoking it. Oh my gosh. Babies. They just cut off. Jeez. Oh, 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 oh. Holy, look at all those right there. <laughs> Jeez. The guys throwing the gotcha plugs seem to be getting the Spanish mackerel like, way more than the blues. As I said, you know, I'm down to catch any fish. This was fun, but the more blues that I caught and the more Spanish mackerel caught around me, I, you know, wanted to get in on that action a little bit too. All right, y'all, it is the next day. It was absolutely crazy out on the end of the pier yesterday. Not like just the end, I guess. The whole pier was kind of popping off, to be honest. A ton of bluefish, which was what I was hooking into. I think I hooked into two Spanish mackerel. That's kind of like the fish that like everybody's after. I've caught them before on spoons, so I bought some spoons, and they just did not want the spoons. The bluefish were absolutely wrecking them. So this morning, we're starting off at Walmart. Everybody was using the same lure and was catching them with the same lure. So we're going to see if they have it at this Walmart and we're gonna head back to the pier. We have some unfinished business, man. We're, we're beefing with fish. <laughs> Yet again, last video of you guys, if you see that, it was the sheep's head. Today, it is a Spanish mackerel. Hey man, if you're a Spanish mackerel and you're near the pier, watch out. All right, so we made it back to the pier and today we are actually prepared. This just goes to show, man. Fishing is all about being prepared and knowing what you're doing and one simple adjustment like a lure could make all the difference so we're going out there today with one rod we've got a cooler and we've got two packs which is six of these little dudes right there so these are gotcha plugs and I just tied a little loop knot and um yeah man let's go pay our five dollars to get on the pier let's see if these fish are here again you know every day of fishing is different there's so many variables these fish they might not even be here you know that puppy thank you here we go y'all back out again oh man that water is so clean dude Okay, this is gonna be good. Hopefully this is gonna be good. As you can see, we brought the cooler. The goal is to hopefully catch a Spanish or two or three and bring them home. We need some revenge. Oh man, okay. This is... First state fishing. Hey, how's it going, man? This is freaking popping, dude. give you guys like a feel like you're here walking what's up, man? hey what's up man luck yesterday. this is crazy hey. well it's definitely packed pier today it's a weekday too this is crazy hey man that's fine with me it's a fishing party as long as i don't get hooked that's the one sketchy thing everybody's got these medals and trebles and gotta be careful What's up? Yeah, second cast. being prepared oh geez oh, 
That's about a day. Yeah. Dude, I went to Walmart right after yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> I had to come back, dude. I don't like these trebles, though. Oh, he's throwing up bait fish. I guess this is what they're eating. <laughs> oh man. It's a baby. That's a better one, I think. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh. That was a little bit better. What's that? What you got that, that lure? Okay? The lure? Yeah, you want one? Yeah, uh, really. If you want one, oh yeah. Yeah, I'll give you one. 
Somebody must have pulled I was out here yesterday and I wasn't catching anything and everybody yeah, had one I, on. I didn't saw that one on uh, 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 and, and they were them over there. I don't know. Do you know how to uh, tie a loop knot? I yeah, I could tie it off for you if you want. But yeah, you just throw it out and just yeah, make it a bit. zigzag yeah, around. I, I, see, I see a lot of people doing that, man. I'm trying to keep this lens clean. Woo! Right right That's a pretty good one. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, I don't know what I got. What is this? It's a Spanish. Crazy looking dudes. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's not a bad one. Can't stand these troubles, dude. There's so many. This is freaking crazy. This is crazy. Was that? Hey, you too. Yep, have a good one. This turned into some crazy pier action. Honestly, one of the craziest bites I've seen from like the shore or the pier. Here's some clips I took. You just see the fish scooting past the lure down there. These Spanish are just so fast and they love these plugs, man. I am not affiliated with these lures in any way, but hey, gotcha. If you're watching, what's up, man? I don't think I explained what I was doing, but you almost want to walk the dog with the lure underwater. Let me know if I could fix my technique at all. A loop knot seems pretty essential to get the right action, but as you can see, you can work it differently like these ones we're filming here. They were working it slow, not giving it much action but you can see the fish are still pretty interested. I found that the more sporadic I worked it, the more fired up they got. We had a day so far, but I didn't want to leave until I caught a real thick, nice size one.
Watch this. It's like the fifth cast in a row. I already know I'm gonna get hit. This is freaking bonkers. better that's a big one that's a nice one oh. it's the biggest one I caught oh man that's a tank yeah that's a, that's a tank brother good job <laughs> Hey man, have a good one. Nice meet you. I think you go. Oops, sorry. That's okay, it's not your fault, it's no wind. Okay. It's a little shower. I know how to take a shower too. <laughs> Hey man, gotta admit, Chef First State did a pretty decent job on that one right there. It's got some nice meat to it. Look at those teeth, man. These are some serious, crazy fish, and the tails, just look all crazy. Dorsal fin almost reminds me of like a, a marlin or freaking something. I don't know. Super cool pelagic fish, man. All right, one fillet down. We've got like five others, and I gotta do the other side of this one real quick. Here's a look at the cooler. It is uh, a little bit messy. All right, Chef First State back in the camper reporting for duty. I have to say, man, the thing about fishing and what's just like so cool to me, there's just always stuff to learn, you know, whether it's new areas, new types of fish. It's just cool, man. You guys get to like help me out and also like come along the journey and watch me learn as well. You know what I mean? That was just so much fun, man. And this is a fun time of the year. The water temp is rising and with it brings all these different fishing opportunities and fish and stuff like this and it's just so cool man we are about to cook up one of these little spanish mackerel fillets a big one actually we're gonna cook the big one we got the revenge on the spanish it was so crazy like i caught so many bluefish and people around me were catching all these spanish the first day and then we come out different technique and you know either way we got revenge on these spanish if you guys haven't seen last video we had a little battle here with the sheep said in the end we ended up getting some revenge and there is another fish like as this water temperature rises there is a new rival on the horizon that we are going to attempt to get some revenge on as well man the freaking florida pompano one of the like best eating fish i've never had one i've never caught a keeper soon we might i'm excited for that and yeah man this is this was just a fun one by the way the lures we used in this video i know that those aren't like the only lures we could have thrown to catch these things i'd be interested to see in the comment section below what would you guys be throwing i know a lot of people use them i know a lot of people use other metals sabikis we've caught them on before and when i was down south of florida like a lot of people like to use these little hair jigs any tips and tricks and stuff that's why it's cool man as a community we can like help each other out anybody in the comment section below if you ever have any fishing questions and stuff man drop it down there we'll all help each other out all right let's get to cooking man i don't have a lot of time right now and i know i've been saying i want to do different kinds of cooking but right now this is <laughs> dude we're back at the camper yet again fire up the grills hopefully it's about to get tasty in here Woo! all right so here we go this is a big fillet of the spanish we still have the skin, dude, they have some cool spots. If you know, you know, man, we just sprinkled it with some nice spicy static seasoning. Link for this will be in the description of the video if you guys want to pick up a bottle. I was thinking about it. I don't think I've ever given a Spanish mackerel like a worthy fair shot. I remember one time I was throwing lures out and we were catching some Spanish off the beach of Delaware. That video, I didn't really know what I was doing or how to cook and we like tried to fry the fish, but it was like a soggy fry. It just... Last year, actually down south in Florida, we caught a Spanish mackerel one time we went out to the pier and we cooked it, but we kind of like cooked it weird. Not weird, but just like not normal fish. We made like cream cheese fish egg rolls. So today, this is the thing, man. I wanna see just how good of a fish this Spanish mackerel are. A lot of people were keeping their limits, like a lot of people between a couple of days. So if a lot of people are keeping the fish, it must probably taste good, right? Again, it's late. I don't wanna, you know, dirty up a bunch of dishes and stuff. So we're just gonna throw this in the air freaking fryer, dude. Best friend for a quick, easy meal. And uh, yeah, man. That in there, shout out to the peanut butter pretzels. To my knowledge, 
There are three different types of mackerel in Florida. Obviously one is a Spanish mackerel. Two is the king mackerel. These things are crazy. They get big. If you guys haven't seen last summer, we caught one from the freaking fishing pier. One of the craziest rigs I've ever used and just like a crazy, that was crazy. The third and final one is the Cerro, Cerro, Cerro mackerel. You can get it down like south of Florida, like around the Keys. That is for sure on the list, man. Between how these things fight and just how aggressive they are and the kings. And I hear the Cerro mackerel are freaking fire eating, like really good. They gotta watch out one of these days. Okay, that looks pretty darn good to me. So I've read on the internet, some people say like, oh, don't eat these, they're fishy. Other people say they're not fishy. Other people are like, oh, if you prepare them right, they're not fishy. I'll be the judge, man. We're gonna see if this is fishy. We're gonna see how the texture is and just if it is a good fish that I would recommend taking home to eat. All right, first, let's see. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh, y'all see that? Steamy B-roll with the pretzels in the back. No, dude, that is some nice whitish kind of looking fish right there, man. <sighs> All right, there we go. I got some spicy static seasoning on the back. Nice steamy piece of fish, freshly caught. It's a sad day though. Today we do not have lemon. We have to restock. Y'all know, man, the static lemon combo is goaded. All right, let's give this a shot, man. All right, so I gotta be honest, does it taste, you know, a little bit more wild, a little bit more gamey, if you will, than some other fish we've been eating recently? You know, we just ate the sheep's head. That was an amazing fish. I would take the sheep over this for sure. I'd probably take, you know, flounder, some other fish over this as well, but this isn't bad, you know? It definitely has like a little little bit of fishiness, but it's fish, like if you're eating, you know, you know what I mean? It's not a bad thing. It is solid though. It's got like a nice white flaky meat. Again, one day we will do like a whole tier list and rate each fish I've ever caught and cooked. This is good though. I mean, you can't beat getting out there, enjoying the outdoors catching food and then eating it you know it's just something so cool about that again man thank you guys so much for all the freaking support if y'all enjoyed this video make sure to check out these on the screen right here i'm sure you'd like those as well and as always thank y'all for all the support let's keep this rolling thank y'all for watching you see you next video